Okay, this is um, 9-50, and it says the graph of the inequality is shown in our book right here. That's why it's greater than 2x minus 3. On graph paper, graph the inequality y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, so all I have to do is get y is less than or equal to um, 2x minus 3. So the way that you graph inequalities is just graph the line y equals mx plus b, right? So b is negative 3. And the slope is still 2, so up 2 over 1. Now I need to be careful when I um, when I connect my dots, whether I want it to be a dashed line or not dashed. This one actually wants a solid line. That one would be a dashed line because you don't have the equal sign under there. But this one's going to be a solid line. So I should use a ruler, but we're... Why would it be a solid when it's an inequality? Inequalities are dotted. Um, this, this thing and this thing are dotted, and this thing and this thing are solid uh, because it's greater than or equal to. Yeah. Okay, now this line needs to be solid and I didn't have a ruler so I just oh well, I do have a I ruler but one. I don't have enough time so here's this just use this paper that's right here and it didn't make it perfect but it kind of worked and there's my line and then this thing says less than or equal to so that means I want to shade below or above what do you think less than would be below, below. I want to shade below the line so I look at my y-axis and I say, where's all the below numbers or the little numbers on the y-axis? They're down here. So that's my graph. And then I want to um, answer their questions. So explain what I changed about the graph. So if you compare my graph to the graph it's in the book, it's exact opposite. It's opposite. So I'm going to say the line is solid, not dashed. And opposite. Um, because of the um, less than or equal to and it is shaded. You can say opposite if you did if you want. It's shaded opposite. It's shaded opposite of the other graph. No, no, it's nine dash. Is that okay? Uh, that's, we ran out of time, so that's it.